This question is taken from the physics model paper 2 of 2024-25. Question number 43. Find the currents I1 and I2 in the given electrical network. So, we are given an electrical network and we need to find the current I1 and I2 here. In this circuit diagram, we can see that the current I1 is passing in this direction and the current I2 is passing in this direction. So, both the currents will meet at point B and flow as I3 in this direction. So, I3 can be written as I1 plus I2. And once I3 current reaches the junction E, again it will get split back into I1 and I2. So, I1 current will flow in this direction that is through the 4 ohm resistor and I2 current will flow in this direction through the 4 ohm resistor. Now, let us use some sign conventions here. The direction that I have taken is in the clockwise direction. Now, if the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in the same direction, then we take the value of the IR, IR product as negative. If the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in the opposite direction, then the IR product will be positive. Similarly, we need to use the sign conventions to the cell or the battery. That is, if the direction that we have taken is going from the negative to positive terminal, then the cell value is taken as positive. Whereas, if the direction that we have taken is moving from the positive to negative direction, then the cell value is taken as negative. To find the value of current I1 and I2, let us apply the Kirchhoff's loop rule to both these meshes. Now, let us apply the Kirchhoff's loop rule to mesh A, B, E, F, A. We can see that the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in the same direction. So, this IR product will be negative that is minus of 6 I1. Here also the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in the same direction. So, minus of I3. I3 can be written as I1 plus I2. So, minus of 10 into I1 plus I2. Again the direction of the current and the direction of that we have taken is in the same direction. So, 4 I1. Now, we can see that there is an internal resistance of 2 ohms here. So, again the direction and the direction that we have taken is in the same direction. So, minus of 2 I1 plus the battery. The direction that we have taken is moving from negative to positive terminal. So, plus 4 equal to 0. So, upon solving this, we get minus 22 I1 minus 10 I2 equal to minus 4. So, this minus I will take it outside. So, we get 22 I1 plus 10 I2 equal to minus 4. This minus and minus will get cancelled. So, we get 22 I1 plus 10 I2 equal to 4. Divide this by 2. So, we get 11 I1 plus 5 I2 equal to 2. So, this is equation number 1. Now, we will apply the Kirchhoff's loop rule to the mesh B, C, D, E, B. Now, we can see that the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in opposite direction. So, the IR product here will become positive that is 6 I2. Again here, we can see that there is an internal resistance of 1 ohm here. So, now the direction of the current and the direction that we have taken is in opposite direction. So, we can take this as plus 1 I2. Here we can take this as plus 4 I2 and here plus 10 I1 plus I2 and there is a cell here direction is from positive to negative terminal. So, it is minus 2 equal to 0. So, plus 6 I2 plus 1 I2 plus 4 I2 plus 10 into I1 plus I2 minus 2 equal to 0. So, 6 I2 plus 1 I2 plus 4 I2 plus 10 into I1 plus I2 minus 2 equal to 0. On equating this, we get 10 I1 plus 21 I2 equal to 2. Let us put this equation as equation number 2. Now, we will subtract the equation 1 and 2. So, 11 I1 plus 5 I2 equal to 2 is the equation number 1 and 10 I1 plus 21 I2 equal to 2 is equation number 2. To, to get the same values of I1 in both these equations, we will multiply the equation number 1 with 10 and equation 2 with 11. So, on multiplying, we get this equations that is 110 I1 plus 50 I2 equal to 20 and 110 I1 plus 231 I2 equal to 22. 
on subtracting this this both will get cancelled so 50 minus 231 is minus 181 i2 equal to 20 minus 22 is minus 2 so minus minus will get cancels i2 equal to 2 by 181 or i2 equal to 0 0.011 amps so we got the value of i2 now we'll put the value of i2 in equation 1 put i2 in equation number 1 so 11 i1 plus 5 into 0 0.011 equal to 2 on equating this we'll get the value of i1 i1 is 1.945 by 11 or i1 equal to 0 0.1768 amperes so we got the value of i1 and i2 this is the answer if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe